Pixico tutorial for beginners how to use Pixico online video editor. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this website to create our videos. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these tabs, I do to not make any mistakes. So in order to get started we need to visit pixico.com and as you can see in the top of the screen we have two options, new project and templates. It means that this device provides us the opportunity to create our videos not from the scratch. We can also use some of the templates and then just customize them in a few clicks. So if you are interested, you can just go right up here, find the necessary topic you are looking video for and then just customize. Basically, it's pretty cool and this feature is quite good. But today I'm going to show you how can we create them from scratch. So you can use all the features in the templates, of course, but from scratch it will be easier to show all the features so let's click on create new project and now we are going to like editor page here we need to upload our files we'd like to use for our videos so i'm going to click on and then just choose them from my computer of course but you can also use like google drive dropbox and so on so let's work with this video so the next step we need to choose the canvas size so it's, it could be like original, square, YouTube, so horizontal, vertical for stories, landscape, like for Facebook, your Instagram post and so on. So basically I'm going to show you how can we create videos in horizontal format for YouTube and for other platforms. So let's click on right up here and then just click on OK. So now we are on our like workspace, our editing page. In the top of the screen we have our main menu with plus video, plus audio, plus image, plus text, plus shape or change the canvas size. So these folders provides us the opportunity to, you know, like add some audio, image, text, video and so on. Uh, here we have like options to save our project. We can go to settings and change some settings here as you can see. And if everything is done, we can simply click on render and uh, render the video. So we'll just download it on our computer. So now we need to wait for a little because our videos are uh, loading. So uh, we need to wait, but we can still get started. It depends on the internet speed of your like provider because you know, uh, this is like online service. So in the bottom of the screen, we have our timeline where we have like two videos. So we are edit. And if we click on some videos here, we can find that our editing page has appeared. So this is a way of um, basically how can we deal with video. So in the like top line, we have options like delete, clone, replace, volume, mute, fit uh, like something else I don't really use it undo the previous step and like redo so also we have like time effect linear loop split trim or reverse and also we have like transition effects we have we can add different like animations we can also use like graphic effect like glitch retro and so on basically some effects are available so in order to work with the video, basically we need to, for example, feed it. So we can just click on find the necessary like time and then just trim it into two different videos, basically from start to the end, or we can split it on our timeline. So we can choose the like duration of the first video. And we are going to use, for example, like this. If we'll click on apply, we, we can now uh, use only this part. We like successfully split it. So basically it's not that e like helpful because you know, the last part has disappeared and now we are not able to work with it. Also, we can work with audio, for example, we can mute the wall audio. We can uh, like change the volume basically. So we can, we can change it right up here. Uh, the other thing we can do is just, of course, uh, reverse our video. If it's necessary, we can just simply click and it will be successfully reversed. So let's try to add also some transition effects. For example, from here, let be like in effect. So let's try to watch how does it looks like. Basically, we can try to uh, 
uh, set something right up here for example like this yes in effect so let's try to watch so it looks like it looks like this basically so this is a way of how can we deal with in effects and uh, basically we can also add like glitch animations or something like this we can change the time change the duration and then just click on apply and after that you know, they will be like successfully added so as you can see now it looks like this yeah so it may look a little bit different so let's delete let's try to delete basically this part so i'll just choose it here on my timeline and then just click on delete so now we are working only with rain video and the effects we like edit looks like this so it's like in animation and like a glitch effect or something like this so and it of course reversed because rain goes to the top so the steps we can work with video are quite simple you know uh, but as for me it's not that intuitively easy to use so when everything is done uh, we can simply click on render in the right top corner here and as you can see it was start rendering it may take also a little time and as you can see uh, so time left so now everything basically should be done so now somewhere here we need to watch our uh, video find it somewhere here so in a few seconds we'll be able to download this project so they also have like paid plans as you can see so their pricing are quite like looks like this so one video like five dollars one month subscription is like fifteen dollars and one year is like one hundred and fifty dollars so as you can see the difference are quite the same so there is no like watermark Video quality is pretty high, like 1080. Uh, render speed is high. Q is priority and priority in like subscriptions, not in one videos. And there is like, of course, differences between storage time, storage volume, uh, project size and video length. So there is a lot of differences. If you're interested in working with uh, Pixico, you can use like one month subscription. I think it will be the best plan as for you. So basically, this is a way of uh, how can we deal with pixico.com to edit our videos. I hope guys this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. So that's all for this video. Hope this video helped you out. Goodbye.